in Six Sigma, if we're on a manufacturing line and we have a couple of machines producing products, we'd like to make sure that they're producing a, a similar uh, product with a, with a mean that's approximately close to one another. And the way we're going to verify that is with the t-test to sample. Now we've already talked about the t-test to sample in our introduction using uh, catalysts. Uh, and in that case the variances are equal. But in machine analysis here, this actually has unequal variances and we can verify that using uh, the ANOVA tools. We can go down and choose F-test, so we want to analyze the variance first, and level significance, and you can see uh, on a, it's quite different on one side, so our, it's going to reject that we have the same, uh, the same result, the same variation here. So we want to come back and actually take that same data, and we're going to use the ANOVA tools, t-test to sample assuming unequal variances. And again, it'll prompt us for a level of significance. We're not going to hypothesize that there's a difference in means. And that will give us uh, the analysis here. But what that says is the p-value, these two p-values are actually greater than our 0.05, which means that we should accept our null hypothesis, that yes, indeed, the two means are the same. Even though 23 and 20.5 look different, uh, statistically using this data, it's saying they're pretty much on target. So uh, it's getting there, but I mean they're off, but they're not off that much. So that's the structure of how we go about doing a t-test to sample in Excel using unequal variances. And you can download a 30-day trial of the QI macros at qimacros.com.